Hello! In this video I will explain how to prepare the conveyor style project. Ok, I would like to machine every side of this part. Ok, uh, to machine from the right side I create part and uh, I would like to load the devices. Very good. And define the part in the devices. If I move it, devices will move with my part to resolve it. I need to fix my devices to machine and after that move the move the part. Okay. Put it this way. And And from this side, to zero, and move it. Okay, that's all. So it will be my first setup stage, and also I need to locate my origin, for example, to this position. G54. After that, I create the operations. For example, face milling, rifling waterline. I will not fill the parameters here because another topic of this video. And the next step, I would like to machine another part, the same part, but from another side. Create new part. And again, Create new load the same vices. Move it and uh, rotate another side. Machine another. Okay, again the same set machine and. Another side of my okay, that's good. If I want to select, I can disable the visibility of one part by this button, and after that, set the correct position of the second part. OK. Enable visibility. Again, create operations. Face milling. And create the third side. Again, part. Sorry. Again, vices. Locate the vices to this place and locate the part same way. Okay. I will not. Uh, what is important? What is important? When I create every part, the part is defined for the part of previous operation. So we can we will machine exactly the same part. And the workpiece it's the machining result of the previous operation. So in the workpiece for the second part will be result of the first of the part number one. It's very important. And uh, okay, what we will have in result, I just load the prepared project. Mm -hmm. Yes, make the work pieces visible. So we can see the total work piece. Initial work piece is here 
and partially machine at workpieces here and almost machine at workpieces here. If so, part number one, two, three. If I click reordering, we can see that first tool, tool number nine, ten, eleven, and the last drill. If I go to simulation and click reset, we can see the initiated workpieces for every part. And if I will simulate, we can see the first same tool another part. After that tool change, these two first part. And finally, same tool in our part, tool change, again, third tool, this and this, and the last tool, drilling. That's all. Thank you very much for your attention.